Let's look at how you create a double exposure image in Snapseed. So I'm going to open my image. So here's one of my macro photography images here. So let's give it one of the pre-made looks. Let's just have a look at a couple of them. So what does smooth do? Well, that's okay. Let, let's have a look at pop. Yeah, we'll give it a pop look. So we'll select okay. Let's go to our tools. And I'm just going to give this a frame just to really center it now. There are around 22 or 23 different frames, so there's quite a few. So I'm going to scroll really quickly to have a look. Um, actually, let's pick number 22. I like that one. So we'll just click that. And I'm just going to give it another lens blur, um, just because I really want to accentuate that little bit. Now, it's already got quite a strong blur on anyway, but I'm just going to move this around and pop that over the leaf, just to really accentuate that pop. Okay, brilliant. Now, let's go down to double exposure at the bottom. And as you'll see now, it's given me an option to select image. So I'm going to select an image and let me just, there we go. We'll select this building. So by default, it just puts it on top like that. Now, I don't have to settle for this, so I can readjust this. Oops, excuse me. So, okay. So I've got some pre-made looks there that I can just click and see what we like. They're all really, really interesting. You'll have a preference as to which ones you like. I quite like the light one. So I'm just going to adjust the opacity. So you see if I go all the way to the right or all the way to the left, that image then becomes prevalent. So I'm just going to move that there. Yeah, I quite like that. So that's wonderful. I can even add another image, which I've just selected by mistake there. But let's put this image in here. Okay, wonderful. And I'm just going to scale that up. There we go. Yep, I really like that. And I'm just going to move that across, actually. So I'm going to change images. I'm going to give this so it looks like it has a light leak appearance. So just move that across there, drop the opacity a little bit. So that's a double exposure image, two different types. So you could put an image on top of another image, or you can replace that with an image like I've done and create a really interesting vintage look. So you can almost create your own stock looks. Have a go and see what kind of looks you can create. So I'm just going to end this tutorial right here. And I'm going to save my image and I'll see you in the next session.